and welcome back to my room! Yay! A couple of you guys said that you missed my room and I missed it too. I was looking back over my glossy box videos. Coming to that time of the month where I'm gonna do like another glossy box video, I'm just showing you guys stuff and I'm not even really like reviewing the products because it's kind of more like an unboxing video. Hey guys, so this is my March glossy box. I got this hair serum, I got this perfume, and I got this stuff. Yay. How can I make these more informative and just more fun? What I thought I'd do, which is an idea I actually came up with ages ago, review the last month's box and tell you guys what I actually did and didn't use. There's always things that I do and don't like about the boxes, but I'd share that with you guys and then move on to unboxing this month's. I'm going to be reviewing the March Glossy Box, which is actually last month's Glossy Box, because I live in Ireland so I get my Glossy Boxes really, really late. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the April one. The first thing was the Fandy Fendi perfume. <laughs> oh, it sounds so weird. Fandy Fendi. I actually... I'm dropping things everywhere. I actually really, really liked this. It was in this cute, tiny, teeny bottle. I loved it. I thought it was so fresh and I actually used it all month long. The only problem with this is I went into Debenhams to get my mom a birthday present uh, last month. I wanted to get her the full size bottle of this because she actually really liked it and her favorite color is yellow and the box is yellow and it's kind of fun and I just thought it was a really nice scent. I went in to see um, how much a full size bottle was and I was just like, OMG, <laughs> this is way too expensive. So it was like 79 euros or something for like a really small full size, if you know what I mean. I do really like the fact that Glossy Box enables me to try new things that I wouldn't otherwise buy. The Ojun Damage Reverse Instant Restorative Hair Serum. I did use this a lot on my hair because you guys know I do have dry hair. I liked it. I didn't love it. It didn't do anything amazing or astronomical with my hair. I've used other products before that have worked probably better. I will continue to use it. I mean, again, it was kind of cool to try it out. Erno Lajlo. New York Hollywood collection skincare set. And this was a little sample size thingy where you get like five samples of skincare. There's like different moisturizers and eye creams and everything in there. As you can see, I did not use one of them. <laughs> I didn't even open this up and I knew I wouldn't because I'm kind of scared of like changing up my skincare, especially because I'm pregnant and my skin is breaking out right now and it's just kind of like, I just want to stick to what I know. Somebody did leave a comment on my blog and tell me that this is the skincare line that Marilyn Monroe apparently used, so that kind of got me like, ooh. Really? <laughs> Maybe I should actually open these. Burberry lipstick. Remember the mini tiny lipstick that was so, so cute? I actually gave that to my mom and she loved it because it's a, more of a kind of a rosewood color that she would wear. She wears darker colors on her lips and you guys know I prefer a nude lip. Clarins Extra Firming Body Cream. And I did not open this, I did not use it, but it's for a good reason because we're going on holiday to Sorrento in two weeks. This is a little sample size, you know, moisturizer, body moisturizer, so I'm kind of trying to save all those travel size things for when I'm actually traveling. I use my big items now. That's why I didn't use that. I do like Clarence products, my mother in law uses them. I know they're good, I always steal one or two items from her house, <laughs> from her bathroom when we go to visit. Don't tell her I said that, okay? Don't tell her. This month's Box, glossy, glossy box. <laughs> the April glossy box was the natural box, and this is something that is kind of interesting to me because I'm pregnant, and everybody's always telling you like you shouldn't use chemicals on your skin when you're pregnant. You should use more natural products. I haven't really done enough research on it, so I don't really know. This is what it looks like, and it's in this really cute biodegradable box. So everything about it is natural, organic, biodegradable eco-friendly and I like that. I, I think it's cool when Glossy Box do, you know, cute fun things and have special boxes. So their kind of tagline for this box was that green is the new black, which I thought was kind of cute. Let's open it up and this is what you find. Now obviously I have opened this already because I got it quite a few uh, days ago. I love this cotton ribbon that they use because it's like, what is this, like a cheesecloth material? I don't know, it's kind of all natural and cute. And then you open it up, the tissue paper is all recyclable. <laughs> the insides, you know, this is all like usually black, I think, and this time it's brown, so it's like, it's all rustic, you know. Now I have not tried any, actually, I, I tried one thing. Kodali? Kodali? That's French, I think. <laughs> Vino Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. 
for dehydrated skin, which I do not have. I have oily skin, so I don't really need that. But I have actually used this. Um, it's just a serum for your face. The only thing is you're supposed to put it on morning and evening to face and neck before your moisturizer. I've never used a serum before my moisturizer in my life before. I usually use it afterwards. If there's a reason for that, you guys let me know. It's a 10 milliliter bottle. So I used this a couple of days just before I did my makeup. I liked it. I thought it was nice. It made my makeup go on smooth and everything. 0% parabens. Palettes. <laughs> it's all in French. I'm not gonna write that. This is a certified organic eyeliner. Can you tell I'm reading from the, the card? I got the color Sapphire, which I'm happy about because I don't like light colors or like crazy colors. This is just a dark navy blue, which are, a blue is supposed to make brown eyes pop. So that's a good thing. So excited to use that. Monu Professional Skin Care. They have sent, I think in the men's glossy box that Jofus got, he got a lot of Monu stuff. He liked it. We have it in the shower. He uses it from time to time. This is good for Sorrento as well, you know, travel size. It's an enriched body cream, rich indulgent cream to comfort and nourish the skin. Looking forward to using that. This is for all skin types and has collagen, vitamins A, E, and B5. Hopefully this will protect me from stretch marks. This is probably one of the things that I'm most excited about because it just looks cool. And I, I purposefully didn't open it so that I could show you guys the, the cool packaging. Do you like it? Figs and Rouge Lip Balm. 100% pure, 100% natural, natural and 100% organic multi-purpose balm. Excellent for soothing and naturally hydrating dry lips and skin. Well, this just looks cute. I'm looking forward to putting this in my purse and taking it out in front of people and being like, oh, hello, <laughs> don't you just love my makeup? Philip B. Drop Dead Straightening Balm. A non-greasy, silicone-free, water-soluble styling aid that gives curly or wavy hair straight, tangle-free, and sleek finish. Okay, well, this could be good. It's supposed to eradicate frizz. Could be good, I mean, I do have frizzy hair, so I guess I should probably be using things like that. So that's everything that I got in my April Glossy Box. Who knows if this will maybe convince me to go green with my makeup. All four trying new things, so I'm curious to see how these go. Make sure you tune in for next month's Glossy Box video where I will be reviewing all of these things. What I did and didn't like, what I did and didn't try. If you want to sign up to Glossy Box, you can do so. There's a link below. Uh, it's £12.95 a month, and that's including shipping. So it's £10 a month, but then you pay £2.95 shipping. You get five luxury samples every month delivered to your door in a cute little, usually pink box. I still like it. I still recommend it. I don't always use everything. It's fun to get gifts in the post, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what natural organic products you like best. If you liked this format of the glossy box video better than the other ones, then be sure to give me a thumbs up, please. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you in my next video tomorrow. Bye!